It's the heritage of the game. We're looking after it. So we better look at the heritage. We've gone to a little bit of white. And I'm thinking navy blue there. Mm. That's a tricky one to, to see. It looks fairly standard in the type of sticker arrangement that we've got on the TC and the DC. Heritage Plus here. And again around the sides. I believe this is a one-off as well. Only used in the uh, the Ashes series. Can you remember who used them? Or you did? Well, Joe Root did from a England point of view. Um, oh yes, the old Capitano. Old Capitano. So let's 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 start, start there. there. So it's top of the shop. Yeah, come Henry. on. Then. Cool. Right. Well, now we've got a bit of an idea. We better find out what it's all about. Well, I think you're right. Technicals. I think you're right. As, as this was a this is a special for the for the Ashes series, which obviously went better for some people than others. Yeah, um, good point. The the stickers the, the, are, are very similar to the TCDC, yeah. just different colours. Yeah. Um, and what I would say is, this really feels like it's a hybrid of of both bats. It's okay. uh, it really does seem like it's somewhere in between the two in terms of profile, shape, balance. Uh, we can see that in the back of the bat. Um, still got a decent high spine. If anything, there's a touch of cut away in there, um, but it looks like mid swell sweet spot. Again, it's going to be a decent all round bat, I would say. Um, let's get the bat mallet on it. Good thick edges on it. Good thick edges. We've seen that in every single New Balance bat, to be yeah, fair. Good, good thick edges. Um, so, mid swell, um, really good sweet spot. Bang in, in in the middle there. Yeah. Um, you're going to get full maximum value. Um, we saw earlier the DC range um, swell was probably slightly low down here. Um, with, with the other one that was sort of hit. So I think it's a, it definitely is a good all round compromise. Um, you're not going to go wrong. This is going to be a, a great bat. There's not going to be too many of them out there either. Yes. Um, you know, it's almost like a limited edition. So if you like to be slightly different or have something new, then probably a this good, is a good, one a to good go choice. Yeah, um, definitely unique. From a weight range point of view, New Balance try and target this to come in at about £2.9, yeah. so that should suit a lot of people. Yeah. Um, you've got it in two types of willow, you've got Heritage Plus and Heritage, yeah. uh, so you've got options there, but Heritage Plus in an Ashes bat, and looking at grains in this one, it's gonna look pretty decent, I would say. So, uh, from a pickup point of view, um, I, th I like this. I think it's quite well balanced. I think that's you know where that shape is and where you've got the middle. Uh, for me, for me, that works quite nicely. Um, and two nine is about my Bigger optimum spot. weight range. So I think <laughs> think I think that's uh, definitely cool. an option. I like the oval handle again, isn't it? I mm. just feel that straight away. All the handles are similar, aren't they? In New Balance range. Yeah, they do seem to be. Yeah, that's a little bit higher up for me. Um, so I probably want my wood a little bit lower. I like the balance of that. I think they. I think they're quite a forgiving bat in that they've got a lot of weight goes across the whole of the face of the bat. Mm. I think that just you know gives you sort of lots of options as a batter. It means you know even your miss hits are going to go for some runs. So I think that's it's got a lot of positives to it. I don't think this one's for me just purely because of where the wood is. I want it a little bit lower. But you know Joe can't be wrong. I suppose Steve Smith can't be wrong. Mm. Oh, but we don't like it. We're not going to give it a go. But they did, and they're really good. So maybe you should. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Do like the video you've just watched. And of course, if you've got any comments, please leave them below. Here we go.